Hey YouTube fam, this is Sean. I'm the Director of Student Ministries over here at Northminster Presbyterian Church and I am so thankful that you're joining me today on this Friday. I hope you had a wonderful week. I know I did uh, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Now, I don't know about you guys, but have you guys ever felt like something keeps on ticking inside your head, trying to remind you of something or maybe something that's come up a few times in conversation and you just you don't know what to do like maybe there's a calling to go somewhere or maybe you know it's somebody popped up on your facebook newsfeed or your youtube algorithm and and you keep on seeing them and maybe you feel like maybe i should reach out to that person or maybe i should check in on that person well today we're gonna look at someone who had a similar inkling uh, today we're looking at Samuel. Uh, in 1 Samuel chapter 3, uh, we see the Lord calls out to Samuel. And it says, The boy Samuel ministered before the Lord under Eli. In those days the word of the Lord was rare. There were not many visions. One night Eli, whose eyes were becoming so weak that he could barely see, was lying down in his usual place. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the house of the Lord where the ark of God was. And the Lord called Samuel, and Samuel answered, Here I am. And he ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. But Eli said, I did not call you. Go back and lie down. So he went and lay down. And this happened two more times. And by the third time, Eli realized that the Lord was calling to the boy. Eli realized that the Lord was calling to the boy. So Eli told Samuel, hey, go and lie down. And if he calls you, say, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. The Lord came and stood there, calling out at the other times. Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel said, speak, for your servant is listening. Now, more recently in my life, I had one of those similar kind of notions, and that was I decided that uh, I felt as if God was calling me to go further in my faith journey, go further in my walk uh, with him. And so about eight months ago, I, I started this journey of seminary, and I, and I started this journey of Figuring out if I want to be a pastor, if I want to take another step in my in my faith and 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 dive deeper in those conversations, and it wasn't it wasn't like it was a split decision. It was similar to how Eli was in. It was over time. It was years and years of small little Samuel's Samuels here and there that that kind of changed my life and 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 moved me in that direction, and so. This Sunday, we're going to dive a little deeper into that, and we're going to learn a little bit more about Samuel and Eli and that relationship and what it means to hear the Lord. Are we hearing the Lord when he's calling out? We don't always hear those voices, but are we paying attention to the small ones? Are we listening for God? Or are there too many distractions in life that are blocking out all those noises? So join me this Sunday as we go through this a little further and as we as we dive deeper into this story of Samuel and Eli and the relationship that they have and uh, what's going on in our lives. I hope you can join us this Sunday. We have services from 8 a.m., 9.45 a.m., and 11.30 a.m. Please come join us. We're at Tucson and Fort Lowell here in Tucson, and I hope you have a blessed weekend. I'll see you in church.